in, darlings. Come in, out of the ruins and out of the wreckage. Step away from the crushing reality of the mad world that you live in. Dreaming about how it used to be so much better. Hoping that it can't get much worse. Welcome to the cabaret betwixt the ends of the world. In the anticipation of black and white, cosmic, easy solutions to universal problems, comets and ravenous tentacled space monsters being in short supply, <laughs> you live in the in-betweens, in the meanwhiles, where smaller, more personal calamities persist. In the daily march of this gray fog, you seek small comforts. That's why you're here. We know. These moments when humans gather together to hear their songs and to hear their stories, this is a ritual that keeps reality from failing. You came to give your hearts, and we have come to claim them. I am your Chanteuse. These are your musicians. We played the in-between for as long as there have been edges, always betwixt, never meeting the horizons, endless, always. Now in all my years of singing and remembering and telling your stories, I know that there are some who guiltily long for some big, clean cataclysm that can help them define their histories. Comets, volcanoes, Wars that end all wars. But when the lights go out, and the climate control fails, and the cloud evaporates, it's just us, alone, in the dark, telling stories and singing songs. <laughs> full of stress fractures, but still it bears weight. You want relief. You want someone to find you, to fix it, to make everything make sense. But isn't that how you got here in the first place? State. Because you trusted champions and representatives and heroes instead of yourself as well. Out of the ruins, out of the wreckage, can't make the same mistake. generation. We are the ones they left behind. And I wonder if we are ever gonna change it. Living under the fear till nothing Sarcastic. 
intimate crowds, <laughs> is that we have to assign them tasks. We need to make sure that you feel included. So, at this juncture, I'm going to say that you, right there in the front, have one singular thing to do. Are you prepared? <laughs> can, you, can, you, can you shout with all of your might these words? Give it all or nothing. Do you think you can handle that? I trust you. When I point at you like this, you're going to say, give it all or nothing with, with everything you've got. So everyone be prepared, because I, he looks big. <laughs> <laughs> uh, are you ready? Are we ready, musicians? Oh, oh. All right. Ahem. Give it all or nothing! <laughs> we don't need another Do you remember that apocalypse that happened a while back? You know the one where they all stayed inside romancing in front of Netflix instead of acknowledging their ecological collapse? Which that, one was, that was Pompeii, right? It was Pompeii. Okay. You're right. It was Pompeii. That's why everybody's still indoors. So, but, but, Thinking along those lines, thinking about romance. In the in-betweens, you learn that you must share it with somebody, that it's more fun with friends. Now tell me, what do you obsess about? Oh. <laughs> oh, so many choices. Think about it for a moment. Everybody have a moment and think, what do you love? What do you love, love, love? What do you, what gives you the fire inside of you that can't be put out? Pink tights? New adventures. New adventures, ooh, yes. new adventures, I like that yes. answer. Mmm, polka dot shirt. Gardens. Gardens, ooh, we'll stick around for the song in the later bits. One more, one more, what gives, what gives you the, what gives you the fire inside? Mama. No, oh, that's wonderful, but this song cannot be about her because this <laughs> song, this, this, um, this song, this most genuine of loves, um, can still be poisoned by necessities. Your new adventures and your garden can be shaded a bit. Now, say your first love is writing poetry. But now, you have a master's degree in postmodern Hungarian prose and no job. So, now you have to pay off your lover to get them to leave you alone. This is student debt. Can't there be some cataclysm that can come along and just wipe it all away? Can't there be something that just kills the internet for like a second and allows us to forget all of our financial obligations to our ex-lovers. Interesting side note. Cataclysm originates from the Greek deluge. So, that in mind, let us swim in the beginning parts of this love affair when it still feels good. Sun lights up the daytime, moon lights up the night. I light up when you call my name, cause I know you're gonna treat me right. You give me fever when you kiss me, fever when you hold me tight.
things begin to change. You're not quite sure who they are anymore. You don't know if you love postmodern Hungarian prose anymore. You're not quite sure how you got there in the first place. And you're swimming in debt, not love. You had plenty of money, 1922. You let other bankers make a fool of you. Why don't you do right? Like some other ones do. Get out of here and make me some money too. You sit Wouldn't go wandering from door to door if you'd started planning 20 years ago. Why don't you do right like some other ones do? Get out of here and make me some money too. Why don't you do right? basic necessities are met. Um, the search for those necessities can become overwhelming, however. Sometimes that search for necessities can make us forget our commonalities. It can separate our hearts into miserly clans. It can, it can tear us apart, tear us down, and you have come here to fight it. You've come here tonight to be together. How long, how long must we sing this song? How long, how long? Poverty can be exploited. It is exploited by causes, corporations, and charismatic leaders who want to keep you weak. Can you hold on to this world until it breaks? Within each of you is enfolded the universes your seeds full of potential. Why are you allowing yourselves to be 
buried and ground into a single use commodity. Trapper and a furrier went walking through paradise. And all the animals lay toothless and clawless before them. And all the mothers stepped away from their babies, leaving them open and easy to handle. A trapper and a furrier went walking through paradise. They took some for now and they got some for later. They marveled at the pelts, not a bullet hole in them. And they filled up their cages with pets for their children. What a strange, strange world we live in. Where the good are.
Why the struggle? Why the strain? Why make trouble? Why make scenes? Why go against the grain? Why swim upstream? It ain't, it ain't, it ain't no use. You're bound, you're bound, you're bound to lose. What's done, what's done, what's done is done. And that's the way the river runs. So why get wet? Why break the sweat? Why waste your precious breath? Why beat your handsome brow? Nothing changes, nothing changes, nothing changes anyhow. That is the voice inside of your head, isn't it? That's the voice that's telling you, don't bother voting. No, don't bother trying something new. Don't bother with all of that. There's someone else who can do that. Who's some, someone else who's better at that than you are. They should be doing it. They have no use for your song. Don't sing if you want to live long. What was that woman's name again? You know, the one with the fabulous box. Kay? Not her. Different, different box, different fabulous box. It was the one that got blamed by the patriarchy for ruining the first golden age of men. Pandora. Pandora. I knew it. I knew it. Now remember, Pandora left one thing instead of the box, which was actually a jar. It was hope. And hope springs eternal, even in the worst of circumstances, even in this in-between. <clears throat> Our hearts are still connected with one another, even when tending the garden of love is exhausting. Whether it be with other humans, or our nations, or our communities at large, it's tiring work. It is tiring, tiring work. But you still fall in love. You still make yourself vulnerable, even though you know the sharp teeth of it are waiting to bite you. Our love's a complex vintage wine, all rotted leaves and lemon rind. I'd spit
and I that people don't just fall in love and give their hearts away to others. They sometimes give it to institutions. And sometimes those institutions can let you down. <laughs> When you don't just give your love to a human, but to something bigger than humans, something that is made up of a collection of humans, somewhat <coughs> harder to blame. Good lord, why did I choose your love? <laughs> <coughs> Tastes like regret, but also hopefulness. <laughs> what happens when, again, you find yourself in this cycle? where your love is being challenged by resources, when it's not as abundant anymore, when what you've defined yourself by inside of an organization or an institution or an ideal collapses, what is left? Who are you? Infrastructure, this old ache from lessons and just longing again, again for a breaking point. For someone else to come and fix it. Someone you could trust because this is exhausting. Taking responsibility is exhausting.
Take a little walk to the edge of town and go across the tracks where the viaduct looms like a bird of doom as it shifts and cracks. Where secrets lie in the border fires, in the humming wires, hey man, you know you're never coming back. Past the square, past the mills, past the past the On the gathering storm comes a tall, handsome man with his red right hand. He'll wrap you in his arms, tell you that you've been a good boy. He'll rekindle all the dreams that took you a lifetime.
why you are here. You are here to sacrifice your heart and save the world. It's positively Aztecian.
good night